Right. Talking a little uh, uh, music, we got the uh, North Kingsley coming up pretty soon here. Where are we at on that one, man? We're in the last stages of mastering. I'm just figuring the little, because I love making albums, you know, and I know today most people don't listen to albums, but I'm still making an album because I think there's something special in that. We tried the whole three song thing here and there, EP thing, and it was cool, but it just doesn't give what you get from listening to an album. And there's something special about how songs connect on a, from song to song on an album. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sequencing uh-huh. and I'm getting the, the, the right spacing between songs to like pop in from one to the other. I like how a song ends and begins and yes. it sounds good. Like it's a, just an extension of the song before kind of thing. Right. So I'm in the process of doing that, but because the North Kingsley record took so long, I started this solo project with Morgoth beats. He's, he's my producer and he's also going to be the guitar player for the group. Okay. And it's, it's called Shavo, but it's heavy. I'm back to my roots. I no hip hop. No, it's just kind of like driven heavy, heavier. I think it's the heaviest I've ever been. And it's Whoa. just, yeah flowing out of me so we're recording everything I'm, i can't wait after this i'm going to the studio we have a track with uh i'm, I'm gonna say with jonathan davis and I'm, I'm working on that one right now we have the choruses in the first verse and i'm gonna go do a little breakdown and i think we got one and another one that's 12 number 12 uh so we're 12 songs in the solo record i'm very excited about that but like i said i've been working on the north kingsley so i'm gonna drop that first um i'm gonna do it quietly and i'm kind of gonna make it more of a side project, not the record, you know, like make it Ray's thing, Ray Hawthorne, our singer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have him guide it. I'm going to have him do all the press, most of the press, you know, so I could focus on what I'm doing at the moment. But um, I think there's room for both in this world because they're both pretty original and different. Yeah, it sounds like they're, I mean, North Kingsley, you know what that sounds like. Shavo, looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Love that you said that you're still into albums, because I am too, even though yeah, the bro. world isn't into it now. But I, I love what yeah. you said about sequencing and, you know, cold fade into one song and the swell into another yes. and all that stuff. But that gets, that makes a good record, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the Shavo project, can you. You're saying it's heavy. You're going to play bass and guitar. What's the plan? Well, I'm recording bass, guitar, bass and guitar. Okay. Um, and then I have the drums being programmed at the moment, but I'm going to have a live drummer on the record. Okay. Um, we're just kind of putting placements of what we want, you know, and it's sure. sounding crazy. I swear I wouldn't even talk about it if I didn't, I didn't <laughs> believe in it so much, but it's coming out like fluid, uh, like it should have been, you know, like not trying. We're not trying at all. It's just like, I, I don't even write it at home. It's just this new project style where I go in, he plays a beat and I just write. And then we record everything I write and then we put it together and it becomes something. And it's fucking cool as hell. It's like this cool artistic freedom I'm having in the studio that feels really, really um, like good. I don't know, really um, <laughs> like free, you know, it's free. It's, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of it. Um, I don't know, just... Any idea? Any idea when we'll get that music? Uh, is it too early in the process? Next year, probably sometime. I'm thinking late this year, early next year. I'm, okay. I do, I am going to shop it and get a label for this one. I'm not doing it on my own. I think it needs a good push mm-hmm. because it's that it's what you want to hear from me. It and, really is. If you know what I've done in the past and you know the songs I've had part in writing, mm-hmm. it's it's like middle of toxicity all throughout this record that kind of shit you know like cool you want to bang your head you want to run in the pit you want to go to crazy and be fun and but you want to smile while you're doing it and not be like angry but there's these like cringy moments cringy not today's cringy more like the fuck <laughs> yeah cringy you know <laughs> that whole like this is cool cringy but your face goes like like, like you've eaten um like a lemon <laughs> like you just eat lemon and then you look at someone and it's like this thing you have you know when i listen to music i get there when it's really good i go "Mm, damn that's good you know so i'm feeling that for my shit it's like cool i I don't usually boast but i'm like i feel really good about it so i'm gonna tell you about it i I love it man and and you taking this band seriously getting a record deal getting a tour i imagine with it too for sure i'm gonna take this on the road if north kings league does tour i might not be touring with them i think i'm gonna pass the baton to a group that will do the song to play the songs i you know and do their thing sure and you know we got ray on there he's 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 the driving force you know what i mean he was really good at what he does and he's making these little video shorts for uh, social media he's making all the lyric videos he's really in it bro so i'm gonna let him take the lead and I'm going to, but the Shavo project is something that I want to tour with for as long as I can and blow up because I feel like it's something that can. And it's like I said, it's my, it's my DNA. You know, it's what you yeah. expect from me. It's not the unexpected like North Kingsley. It's, 
North Kingsley more of a like abstract, fun art project for me where I just did anything that comes and I mixed it up. So a lot of people don't get it. People that get it, understand it. are like, cool, he's doing something different. This one is just in your face. Love it, man. That's what I want from you anyways. And you know, speaking of shows, got to touch upon Sick New World coming up in a few weeks. Yes, yes. For you, man, is that just another show or with this one kind of having a theme to it? Do you kind of look up and down the lineup and go, oh, I remember those guys or I'm looking forward to seeing that band get back together or anything like that? We had, yeah, we had a part in that, you know, like to choose what, who goes on. Some of them, you know, some of them were already booked, you know, by, by Live Nation, but we kind of were like, we, we, you know, I'll come back together. And then they did. And it was just like, we got this like sisters of mercy, you know, like yeah, they joined this shit. I'm so happy to hear that. And uh, cold chamber. Yeah. And we got like every corn to like, you know, all our friends. Um, there's a few bands missing that I would have loved <laughs> to have on there, but I mean, that's a big Ross, you know, it's huge. Um, it's a huge bill and I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence with being so excited because I usually like to like play more than one show yeah. <laughs> and it's like this one big festival we're going to go and do. And then it's like, okay, go back home. Yeah. You know? And that's just, you know, we all know the reasons why we're not really playing so much, but hopefully that'll change in the future. But for now I'm, I'll take what I can get with the system and do what I, I'm in control of uh, along the way until we get that, you know, cause that's like, it takes four to tango with that, with that group for me, this shovel thing is I make the calls and I'm going to take that and, and run with it. 